Turkey. We're starting this video with Turkish breakfast. You cannot come to Turkey without having like the full um, breakfast experience. Yeah, this is Turkish, by the way. Menemen, cheese, sucuk and halloumi. All these dips with some olive, honey, cigarabere. Oh, wow. Istanbul is the only city in the world that is on two continents. It's like divided by the Bosphorus Strait. There's a European side and then there's an Asian side. We're going to explore both, but right now we're on the European side. I get some coffee. The European side is more touristy. Like has all the tourist attractions and all of that. Right now we're in Besiktas. This is Atta's favorite area. From what I've seen, it's got like a lot of funky cafes and then Atta's taken us to this place so we can shop. Guys, the market quality here is so good, like, what? And everything's like super reasonably priced. I can't wait to actually be able to shop because we still have a few spots to go to to travel to in Turkey, so we can't actually get a lot. So when we come back to Istanbul, we'll be back here and I'll show you guys if I get anything. Besiktas is also known for their soccer team. We're just at the stadium real quickly because this is Atta's favorite Turkish soccer team. It's now 9.38 p.m. and we are heading out to go to Taksim Square. We're going to Istiklal Street. This place comes alive at nighttime. It is so busy, it does not matter what time. This is a very popular street in like the modern part of Istanbul. There's like shops everywhere, all like mainstream shops, restaurants, bars, clubs. That is this area. We actually happen to be staying in it. In the area of Bayolo, we're really, really close. I wouldn't recommend staying here, it is quite you know, you're in the midst of the hustle and bustle, but we just wanted to experience it. Here's a little sneak peek of our hotel. It is called Petros Hotel. Look, it literally comes with earplugs because we are in the middle of like a street full of bars. heading to the neighborhood of Galata right now um, it's like popular for the Galata tower it's around a 20 minute walk from Taksim Square so we'll see <laughs> so if you're trying to go to the Galata tower um, just know that maps will take you here <laughs> that guy was just like yeah the maps is wrong you gotta go this way There's the famous Galata Tower from the 14th century, but we came here for this cafe. Just casually have the Galata Tower right behind me, but this cafe came highly recommended. It's known for their San Sebastian cheesecake, where you like pour chocolate on it. So we are going to have a cheesecake. All right, we've got the cheesecake. This is what it looks like with the chocolate on top. I highly, highly recommend if you see a Viana Kavesi. There's a bunch in Istanbul, there's so many. Like, I think it's a franchise. Definitely try the cheesecake because it's delicious. Creaminess inside and then the milk chocolate poured on top. Also, if you can't already tell, this street, this street in Galata, is like Instagram, famous street. Everyone's taking photos on the street. 
There's also photographers walking around in case you do want a photo from them and you can buy it off them and they'll transfer it to you. Well, there's a Salt Bay restaurant here. Salt Bay is Turkish, FYI. We're now going to find our way to Sultanahmet. Um, that area is where like the main tourist attractions are. So we've got, I think the mosques are there and the Grand Bazaar. So, this seems to be a school. How cute. This is the Karakoy Galata area and we're on the Galata Bridge heading towards Sultanahmet which is on this side and this is still the European side. Look at everyone fishing on this bridge. People here. Hello. <laughs> I feel like this is the busiest place that we've been in Istanbul. There are 20 million people in just one city, whereas, like in Australia, the country as a whole, there is 20 million people. So it is crazy busy here. And behind me was the Grand Bazaar. We're not going to go there today. It's like the oldest, one of the oldest shopping malls, I believe. I'm going to try to go there another day, but just know that it's in this area. Right in front of me, we've got the Hagia Sophia, and then right behind me, we're literally like in direct line, is the Blue Mosque. We've come to chill under the Galata Bridge. So anyways, that was like all the touristy areas in the European side, mainly. It's a bit overwhelming for you, isn't it? Yeah. Me and like big crowds do not mesh well. I'm trying to like, just visit, see it, and then go really quickly. But yes, I just wanted to show you guys that was the European side of Istanbul, and now we are going to go head to the Asian side. We're gonna take a ferry. Goodbye, Europe. Hello, Asia. We're in the Istanbul Asian side now. So we are here on the Asian side of Istanbul and this is our hotel. This blue building here, it's a 150 year old building. It's like a shared house and like this is a shared kitchen. It's very homey and cute. It's like such a cozy, cute vibe and look at all the pictures. We've got this shared area here and then this is our room. It's a bit messy. This place just feels like we're staying like at a family member's house and they're hosting us. Um, that's the vibe that it's giving. It's like perfect for like maybe a three night stay because it is like a tight space. But yes, we are on the Asian side and this place specifically is in Kadikoy. From what I've like researched and stuff, there's obviously a bunch of neighborhoods and so many places on the Asian side that you can stay. But the two main ones that kept popping up were Uskadar and Kadikoy. So Uskadar is like the neighborhood over and we're in Kadikoy. But yes, we're gonna explore it together. I don't really know. Um, I don't think there's many like tourist attractions on the Asian side. I just think it's vibes, feels more local, a lot of cafes and restaurants which honestly is my like I would prefer honestly to stay on this side I think um, but we'll see let's go explore we are going to find a spot to eat okay so we found this spot route it's around the corner from where we're staying and it happens to be like two storefronts that make one cafe which is pretty cool and off the bat the prices are just so much cheaper than like the European side so like breakfast in the European side was just your average like 20 to 30 dollars for breakfast hey and then here it's in the ranges of like 10 to 20 I'd say it's good coffee we got some ave toast I haven't had like breakfast like this in so long but look at the size of this look who's come to join us I'm like, yes, ain't no stress, you the best. Look, how you get so good at being modest, girl? It seems we have now adopted a cat. 
yourself a promise I hate to make you take it back I've been getting paid for rap Ain't talking about the drums When I tell you I can make it clap Had to make you wait for that You intrigued with conversation You be moving dolo I'm intrigued and I'm in admiration So I this is Moda This is like the main street in Kadikoi um, You've got like the tram line And then over here There's some water So we're going to go by the water But from that street There's a bunch of like little streets That are super cool They have so many clothing shops here a bunch of restaurants so even though that's the main street I think it branches off everywhere you got better when you met me I met it you said you done trusting but you did it move low key but I really know you with it why you not sure when you we are out in Kadikoi right now we've been here for a couple of days now actually we've been here for a while and I have to say I love Kadikoi so we're gonna go around today the food the shopping the vibes here have been really good we're just gonna go for a stroll and then we're gonna have some dinner because I'm starving. Look what we just ran into. It's a friend's cafe. What? There's a shop down here that I want to come back to. This one right here. Got some cargoes. So cool. And they had a whole bunch of like, um, like Y2K tops. Like, look. That's Y2K, right? All of this. The butterflies. I can't pull that off. So many cargoes. Oh my gosh. Look at these cool cafes. Tell me why. <laughs> I get excited over a cafe. <laughs> the look of a cafe, the vibe of a cafe more than any tourist attraction. You guys know I love to sit at a cafe on my laptop and people watch and have coffee. That's literally my favorite pastime. All right, we're going into the shop. It's actually got a jumper. It's such good quality, pricey, but you know, people are so stylish here. We're having Turkish coffee now. It's cooked in hot sand, it's so cool. So, we're having some Turkish coffee. It's like really finely ground um, coffee beans that are cooked in something called a chesve which is like that copper pot and then it's not filtered so you don't filter out like the coffee beans so it is very powdery but you get like a little shot it's very rich in flavor when i first tried it i was like whoa but now i'm like love a good turkish coffee we got the turkish coffee here all ready to go Cheers. And that's all like the left coffee grounds there. I don't know if you can see it. Super powdery at the bottom. And then usually you like flip it. Look at how he's laying. Cute. He want to go to the bar so bad. We are having some burgers right now. I just met someone who literally saw my TikTok videos because I recently posted like my first um, turkey videos. Also, I'm 16 days late with posting my TikTok videos. Anyways, um, she literally came up to us and was like, hey, like that's crazy in like a city of 20 million people. The fact that we're here in Kadikoi, like that she saw my video and then recognized us. So she came up, she was so nice. But yeah, she recommended this burger spot. So we're like, all right, because we were trying to find food and we're just walking around mindlessly, just trying to pick a place to eat. So I'm pretty sure it was this restaurant. Burger spot was 10 out, 10 out of 10. It was very nice, actually, so good. Anyways, that's all for this vlog. <laughs> Anyways, that's all for this vlog. I'm gonna close it. <laughs> Eater, stop. Atta won't stop making me laugh. Anyways, I'm gonna close the video. <laughs> stop making me laugh. I'm gonna close. The oh, there's so many people coming. <laughs> After this video, <laughs> <sighs> okay, I'm gonna close the video out here. Hope you guys enjoyed like the first 
Turkey vlog. After this video, we actually are going around Turkey for a little bit. So I have a couple of videos lined up for you. So yes, I'll see you guys in next week's vlog. We are snowboarding in Turkey. So bye.